taking extension cord all the way from up there all the way down three extension cords joined together and we are like that short we are literally that short now that's where I get my tool and that's where the tie is so it looks like it's going to be the carpenter's knife or I'll try and see if I can go in the back of the tire here, yeah, maybe. Alright, we're making progress. Jigsaw grinder and standing knife. What a combination. you got to love it. You don't want to lose these elastics. You can use them for tying the combing. Um, so those that do break, don't chuck them away. You can use them for tying the elastics together. I'll show you what I mean later on. Alright, remember to cut the comb off wherever the, the starter strip, wherever the comb sits on. Uh, I'm going to start off by just taking out all the surface. Surface stuff, all the rubbish. Just so I can get a bit of access there. Um, looks like I'm going to have to get that back on. So I'm going to just reroute this around here. That's the problem why you got these old VVAC setups in the backside with all the pipes and the cables and all that type of stuff with the new VVAC that Bushell Bees has invented and have made a commercial version of it you don't have to worry about any of that stuff it's one box one pipe that's it no cables no vacuum cleaner nothing 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 built-in motor uh, built-in batteries you just put it on charge afterwards right so let's get to it vacuuming these guys up and see if I can get a bit of light on the on the subject here. All right, looking good, ladies. Looking good. There we go. Close your ears. A bit of brood there, I don't know if it's worthwhile, but we'll have a look at it later. Some good brood over there, awesome. Remember to keep it upright, make sure where your top is. Long ones, huh?
is a top side there. We want to make sure that we keep our top on top. Nice thing is I can see there's some eggs here. Even if we don't get the queen, which I doubt, I'm sure we'll get the queen. He's, uh, he's going to end up, they'll end up making a new queen. Quite a few little eggs and more brood and whatnot inside there, so looking good, looking good. Alright, let's just cut that side. Okay. Cut off any extras that you don't need. Hang it on top. I'm going to lean these mostly to the right. I'm going to keep them all to the right. So, measure out where you need to go. Make sure you cut your your egg strip off. Otherwise they're going to double comb in those places. If you don't cut your elastic. There you go. Put the brood. Uh, and get it to fit. Nice and flush. There you go, get this one. Have a look at that. Make sure the tight part of your elastic is on this side. The other side where the wires are, you're going to make sure you cut in a bit. Alright. Make sure that you cut in, get those wires in so it doesn't collapse. The transport afterwards and also it keeps everything neat and tidy inside your inside your your box you don't need to do a lot of maintenance on it a bit later Put it in nicely there you go elastics are pushed inside the comb over there and i'm just going to move this elastic over just for double show These will take out whatever they don't want, so I'm not sure with the elastics. I'm just going to tie them quickly. Remember that elastic I told you about? Now, I'm just going to take this. I'm going to tie this one underneath here. Hold it up. I'm hoping the bees don't sting me while I've got my glove off. Find one little knot is fine, not going to be there forever. Pull it up if you can. All right, and I'm going to tie another one over here. I'll do it over here in this one. Tie it onto the line so it keeps it rigid. There you go. You can see where I put the knot over there and there. Just to hold it up so if the vibration inside the vehicle, I don't shake around. Comb is nicely in the middle. Right, we're going to try and speed it up a bit. I'm not going to have enough comb, so I'm going to make sure I've got a spacer on this side. There, make sure that all your comb's on one side. And let's club it. All right. The girls are getting angry. There was the top, that was the top over there. So now, oh, lots of little, lots of eggs inside here, so I don't want to go and waste any. I'll just use as much as I can. I'll get a nice straight top on this. It fits on the frame nicely. It'd be better if you cut it on a lid or a, a box because in the box you have flat surface to work on. Alright, check this out on top of here. Whoopsie, it's not going to catch. No. Alright, so yeah, I'm going to make the exception to the rule. I'm going to put it below the wax strip. I'm going to put it below the wax strip just so that the two wires can grab on it. I'm going to put it just below the wax strip. 
so that both wires can balance on it at the same time. Not a good idea to vacuum these as well because it could be a combination of local bees and robber bees. I know there is a hive down at the river. So um, I'm going to dust them off slowly and I'm going to chuck them into a container where they can't get a hold of them. And then the bees that are left here will probably be the local from this swarm. Alright, are we looking inside there? Looking good. One, two, three, four. Four. Alright, got one more to go. Bowden method. I'm not sure if it's true or not, but it works. Okay, quite strong. Down the line, in the middle. Still got some starter strip ready to roll. Okay, make sure it's all on that side of the box. Right, I think I'm pretty much done. No brood on that. Right into the box. Goodbye. Got the vacuum cleaner running to get some air circulation through the box. Don't want them to die inside there. Right, extra frame, no more comb, so we might as well take his elastic off. Make sure you've got the strips on. Starter strips, you don't want to put frames in without starter strips. Okay, get this old piece of tube out of here. Let's see how many more bees, I think there should be still quite a few bees inside here. Yeah? Some of the other buggers. I think I might have the queen already simply because of them gathering near the exhaust of the vacuum cleaner. But
depends on these babies to go. No bees inside? Aren't very many in there. Give it a good time. Oops. I'm going to quickly take off these staples that Brian put in there just to hold it all in place. They're no, working well on here. No trouble so far. This is called the the. Heard this is called the the. Heard this is called the the. Goodbye. Into the box. Goodbye. Into the box. Goodbye. Into the box. Goodbye. Yay! 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 